Hallelujah. Praise God. What a glorious day again today to be with you on the Word of Grace. We thank God for today. Today is Wednesday, 26th of May 2021. And I pray that the mighty hand of the Lord will be with you in the name of Jesus. I pray over your life that your heaven remain open in the name of Jesus. I pray over you that the favor of the Lord will locate you in Jesus' name. I pray things that are supposed to have been done this week and are yet to be done. Within the next two days that remain for this working week to go, may that thing be settled in the mighty name of Jesus. You are favored and blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Welcome to the word of grace again today. And today's word of grace will be taken from the book of Luke chapter 13. And I read verse 18 and 19. Then said he, Unto what is the kingdom of God like? And whereunto shall I resemble it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took, and cast into his garden, and it grew, and waxed a great tree, and the fowls of the hair lodge in the branches of it. Hallelujah! What a wonderful and a powerful proverb that Jesus has given to us today. Jesus Christ said the kingdom of God is like a grain of mustard seed. Remember that the Bible said, remember that the same Jesus Christ described how the mustard seed looks like to us and he said is indeed the least of all the seeds. So the Bible said that the grain of mustard seed happens to be the least of all. And now he said that that is how the kingdom principles look like. What Jesus Christ is trying to say is to let you know that the kingdom principles are like grain of mustard seed. He said, but when you take it and apply it into your life, then it's going to work. He said, the mustard seed which a man took and cast into his garden, it grew and waxed a great tree. That means it becomes a great tree and the fowls of the air start lodging in the branches of it. Now, these are the things that Jesus was explaining there that the kingdom principles are like the mustard seed. Mustard seed is a seed that can be despised. It's a seed that can be looked down upon. It's a seed that can be ignored. Just like prayer too. People can look at the problem they are dealing with, decide to ignore prayer and look for something else. It is possible that somebody can despise fasting. You can despise seed sowing. You can despise faith confession and all the kingdom principles because that is where the answers to your miracles are that is where the solution to the problems you are dealing with is and most of the time it looks so small compared to the problem that we are dealing with so we are tempted most of the time to despise and to ignore the kingdom principle so most of the time people does not apply it but i'm here to let you know on the word of grace today that jesus christ said the kingdom principles like prayer like agree together like working in love like fasting like seed sowing and many other kingdom principles you can think of the bible says it may look so despising but if you apply it into your life Number one is going to work. The Bible says that the mustard seed will grow. Number two is going to grow. It's going to become something great, more than what you are thinking of. Because the Bible says it will become a tree. Then it's going to become a tree that grows branches and the birds lodge under it. What does that mean? It means that as you apply the kingdom principles, the problem will be solved and then the solution will continue to grow until you yourself become a blessing. Don't forget that that is where God is taking you to. The Lord said unto Abraham as part of his covenant, I will bless you and you will be a blessing. You are not yet blessed until you have become a blessing. Becoming a blessing is the ultimate place where God is taking you to. And it's important you need to know that and you need to begin to apply kingdom principles into your life. 
So I don't know what you are dealing with or what you have been dealing with or what you are going to be dealing with. Let the word of grace today adjust your mind and put this thing in your spirit that kingdom principles will always work. Don't let the devil despise you. Don't let the devil discourage you. Don't let your friend discourage you. Don't let what goes on in the world system discourage you. I'm here to tell you on the word of grace that kingdom principles will always work. It is enough to solve your problem. It is enough to deal with the case you are dealing with. And it is enough to make you becoming great. And it is enough to make you becoming a blessing. And no matter the level you are today, I pray in the name of Jesus, as you apply the kingdom principle, you will become what God wants you to become in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. This is the word of grace for you today, that the kingdom of God is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and cast into his garden, and then it grows. And after it grows, it becomes a tree that has branches, and the birds are lodging under it. Don't forget the Bible says in the book of Samuel, it said the righteous is like a tree planted by the riverside. That is your example, that is your life. You are like a tree planted by the riverside. And I pray as you apply the kingdom principles into your life, your life begin to grow forth branches and you become blessings in different dimensions to people in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not die small. You will be great in the name of the Lord Jesus. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Can we take the word of confession for today? Say this confession after me. Say in the name of Jesus. I confess that I believe in the Bible and I believe in the principles of the kingdom. I believe in prayer. I believe in seed sorry. I believe in fasting. I believe in holiness. I believe in everything that Jesus preached in the Bible. I receive grace today to become obedient to the scripture. And as I apply those principles of the Bible into my life, I receive solutions to every case I am dealing with in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare that the word of God is all I need and is enough for me. And through it, I'm having testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. I pray and agree with you that through the word of God, you are going to have testimonies in the name of Jesus. Let me pray with you before I close today on the word of grace. Father, thank you for the word that you have sent to this people today. And Lord, I ask that your hand would be upon them in a great dimension. Let your glory, let it come upon them. Let your glory overshadow them in the name of Jesus. Every attack of the devil against their life, I take authority over I rebuke in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere the storm is raging in their life, I speak to you storm, be still in Jesus' name. Let them be calm in the mighty name of Jesus. Anywhere the enemy has shot arrow against your life, I command the arrow back to senders in Jesus' name. I release new grace and new mercy upon your life in Jesus' name. I surround you today and the rest of your life by the wall of fire. And I declare that no weapon that formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue rising up against you, they are condemned. You are favored of the Lord. You are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. As you go today, go and do well. Prosper and be blessed in the name of Jesus. Your heaven remain open in the mighty name of Jesus. And everywhere you go, the favor of the Lord speak for you in the mighty name of Jesus. If things prosper in the hand of Joseph, I decree and I declare it will prosper in your own hand also in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless you, bless your family, bless your business, bless everything you are involved with, bless your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you, in Jesus' name, amen. Praise God, that Lord God mighty continue to keep you. This is the end of the word of grace today, and by the grace of God, I'm going to be back tomorrow on another edition. Till I see you then, keep on fulfilling your God's given purpose and destiny on the earth. Amazing God grace is the sweetest sound that saved my life. I once was lost, but now I'm found Was blind, but now I see It took my shame, it took my pain My Jesus